Drama, 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 drama. It has been two weeks since the last Rev says this too, and I think nearly two weeks, or roughly two weeks since the last Niji, well not Niji, but V2 and News related reaction. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at the recent, it's like a recent upload from Rev says this too. It's uh, Niji Sanji EN situation. Now what's going on this time, huh? What the, what the fuck is going on with Niji Sanji uh, this time? It's been months since all the shit came out. Even further than that, even longer than a couple months, you know, since... Well, if you go all the way back to the, you know, the Sayu stuff, Zion. If people actually listen to her. And uh, it's just nothing but... It's just nothing but nonsense going on with this company. <laughs> it's been... Uh, well, it's not really been that important in my life. I've been, I've had, like, nothing to do with, with Niji Sanji at all. The EN branch, anyways. There's nothing been going on. Well, there's nothing that's come out, anyways, for the, for the main branch, the JP side, East Asia. But uh, for the EN side of Niji Sanji, nothing but nonsense. Anyways, let's get into it. Let's have a crack. Let's have a look. Let's have a see what's going on. What's been going on? Hey, what's up, guys? Rev here. Let me know, Rev. So today we have another round of Niji Sanji-related drama to cover. Now, let's oh. face it. 2024 has been a very, very rough year for Niji Sanji. In it has. In particular, their EN branch. We've seen some of their recent streams still getting dislike bombed into oblivion on their official EN channel on youtube and we've okay. seen the recent congratul before this carries on how do people do that how do you see because i only this is what i'm stuck with i'm stuck with this stupid thumbs down symbol and there's no number there you know like it's fine for the thumbs up but not for the thumbs down how do i get how do i get the numbers how do i get the og like and dislike back man i want it back Relations fucking youtube with the stupid here, decisions where this Congratulations. Con oh, congratulations. Some of their questionable hiring practices as an organization and the students they contract their work out to. And also, we are now at exact. If they didn't hire high school students whose, you know, their level of, Eng of the English language is. I have a bad case of diarrhea. But then again, you know, it's. Even us native English speaking people, we have our own problems. Like, I mean. If you watch if you watch my videos, <laughs> you'll you'll see you'll know that uh, sometimes I mispronounce words, and I'm from England, okay? I'm from where the language come fr comes from, so you can't really you can't really be too nitpicky. It's just a funny thing, really. The congratulations, it's funny, I think. Anyways. Of 2024. Now, of course, this was a big disaster. Last Twitter fire. That's the internet. So extreme with their views. Any color stock. Now, what was reported? Well, of course, you can see the Japanese branch had a lot of success. Yeah, Jippy's However, fine. When you compare the revenue of Niji it dipped a little bit there, but from quarter three in 2023 to quarter three in 2024, there was a 40 percent revenue drop. Now, Damn. that's very serious. But it's even more serious when you realize that quarter ended with February, meaning February 1st was the beginning of quarter four. February 5th was when Selene was terminated. So all of the drama and controversy that's been taking place over the past two months wasn't even included in that quarter three report. And they still had a 40% drop bad. in revenue compared to last year. Now, of course... This is what I get for being unprofessional. In the report, they also preload damn videos. Pre I need to remember this: preload videos. Just let it run in the background, muted on loop, and then and then do the react to it. Fuck man! Please don't do any more ads. Projected <laughs> their revenue for quarter four, the upcoming quarter four that we're currently in, and they have a lot of hopium here. Okay, they are saying there's going to be a massive increase, a giant comeback in quarter four. And of course, a lot of people are questioning that and they're saying they must have something up their sleeve for quarter four. To yeah, have the main branch, Japan. And it turns out this is what they were referring to. It is the AR live concert event. I've heard that, that was really bad. That was supposed to happen in 2023. And Vox got hit with karma a lot for into. it. And then like some of the things that he said, like what goes around comes around. COVID concerns. So here we are in 2024, this is two years in the making, and this announcement was very exciting for a lot of Niji Sanji fans. And you can see the promotional post right here. You can see that there's some like missing spots. Well, that's because based on the 2023 version of the promo for this event, they just crudely removed yeah. the VTubers that had Slendy moved Nipomu, on from Niji Sanji Mr. and Mr. Rios here. You can see Palmu, you can see Selene and Nina. They just kind of 
removed them from this promotional post and then just used what was left for the 2024 version, which was uh, kind of interesting and also raised questions about how these former livers will play a role in this 2024 event. And we do have some answers to that coming up. But going into the actual event itself that launched on April 14th, Japanese time, the event went over pretty well. I am someone who is very critical of Niji Sanji, in particular Niji Sanji Yen, but I will say this was a win for them, a much needed win because they've been taking L after L after L this year, okay? And this was an event that went over well with the fans and there was a lot of things they can reflect on positively. However, just because there were some things that were good- Our expectations for Niji were low, but holy fuck. <laughs> I've seen, a, I've seen a picture thrown around since since the salon stuff. All right. In terms of viewership right off the bat, I think this didn't meet probably the high On Twitter and Cure videos. That Niji Sanji Ian had for this event. That's not crapping on the views that they got. It's just saying it probably fell short of those very big projections they have for quarter four. And on top of that, there's a lot of criticism due to the assets, the 3D models that these livers used during this oh yeah i heard that there was like really bad go posting any of these screenshots like there was a couple like there was a couple of photos because going around where it's like was paywalled petra's got a <laughs> petra's got a giraffe neck <laughs> like youtube without risking some kind of a, a it was kind of blocked like that. but apparently a lot of people have also been claiming that the first 30 minutes which was live to the public you're not allowed to post screenshots of that either which is very odd if that is true and of course i don't want quick reminder do not screenshot or record any parts of ar live since it is paid content, the only part I think you can possibly take screenshots are the opening of each stage, which are free to watch on both YouTube and Billy Billy. Okay. Uh, followed by, yep, okay. I'll take a, a chance with Niji Sanji and the copyright system here. But overall, here are some of the reactions to the 3D models that were used for this concert event. Of course, I'm censoring. You can find all of these on places like Twitter. But to describe them to you, yeah, people have been... I will just say... People have been having to censor these because uh, Niji Sanji has been taking down videos like copywriting them, striking them and stuff. Hey, so, the so this has been okay, like heavy, be heavy censorship when it comes to Niji related news stuff going on lately. At Niji Sanji Ian, okay? It looks like something straight out of VR chat. All right, I'm just being honest. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa come on now. Very, uh, That's an insult to VR chat. <laughs> where the models seem to be, uh, you know, flailing their limbs and outstretching their necks and looking very odd. If this was a small indie company or something like that, you would understand, but not with Niji Sanji. And in particular, this event that has been in the making for two years. They've been working Damn. on this for two years, and this is what they came up with. And it's just, it just shouldn't be this low quality, if I'm being honest. Doesn't mean the performances were bad. Doesn't mean like the vocals and things like that were bad. But the model Wasn't it just like a huge pre recorded thing honest. as well? And on top of that, there were some copyright issues, especially with the Billy Billy version of the Niji Sanji Ian uh, version of this stream, where there was apparently some songs oh. muted because of copyright issues, which again is maybe not so surprising because they've dealt with copyright issues as a branch before. Think about the Selen termination and her music video that had all kinds of copyright issues and was privated because of those issues. But moving forward, we saw some other interesting events. I think I was sleepwalking or something because apparently people heard my voice at a concert. The 2023 version of this event and how they would be played out in the 2024. You can see Kuro from V Shoujo here saying, I think I was sleepwalking or something because apparently. Wasn't it because there was like a, a like a, a live reaction watch long kind of thing going on with the Ninja VTubers that uh, they, they brought up Mr.'s. They were saying, oh, it's Mr. Oh, oh, I miss you so much, Mr. 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 You know, isn't it because of that? Heard my and then because they said that. Concert. And of course, he is the former talent responsible for Mr. Rios from this stuff's been going on. Yen, who graduated somewhat recently. And you can see people raising points saying they didn't remove Mr.'s voice from the concert and people pointing out that they didn't remove Palmu's, Mr.'s, or Nina's Damn. voices. And the only one that seemed that, like it was actually scrubbed out of existence completely was Selene. Wow. People are claiming that this is laziness or something like that. I don't think that's the case nah, at all. I think, I think they intentional. wanted to keep these voices in because it's good for promotion for Niji Sanji Ian, having these former talents, especially the ones who seem to have left on good terms. And the fact that the only one that was not included is was Selene is not surprising at all. And honestly, a smart move for all parties involved. And I believe that these people who were featured likely consented to this. They were likely asked. And 
I know if Selene was asked, there's a very high probability that she said no. I mean, she did not leave on good terms. She's not on good terms with Niji Sanji as a whole. Why would she want to be a part of this? And also... Makes sense. Even if they had the right, Niji Sanji, to include Selene, let's say they had some kind of rights to her, uh, her contribution to this event in 2023, they would be stupid to include her. It would look really bad and greedy on their part. So whether it was forced on them or they made their own choice, Niji Sanji Ian not including Selene was a smart move on their behalf. But overall, looking at Damn, the viewership rough. of this event, at least the free portion, the first 30 minutes, it wasn't as great as they probably hoped. Like I said, they had probably very high hopes based on those quarter four projections. They probably didn't meet those. You can see a random Gargura stream that was happening during the uh, Niji Sanji stream, getting 26,000 concurrent viewers. Okay. Meanwhile, the EN official account was hosting about 23,000 which again 23, well, it's only 3,000 that's still a lot people. that's, that's a lot to waft your hand at and acts like is nothing it's only 3k less than Gura. big oh, two years in the yeah. making with all it's a paid event though collaborating together there'd be more people watching the paid event than there would be watching the free one i would have like thought this, in one place with 3 the loyal viewers from g and this is a really big event for the en branch and that's what they pulled. And of course, some people raised the point saying, well, this was paywalled. Well, the first 30 minutes where the screenshot was taken, about 25 minutes into the stream, was from the free Bro, you only get 30 minutes. That is the highest viewership. If, if you if you paid for it, why would you watch the free you version on YouTube and you could just watch the one that you paid for? <laughs> the you know? Portion of the stream. And you would think a lot of people would be able to come in for the, the free portion. And it just doesn't seem like it met what they probably expected in terms probably of not. viewership to give you an idea for example but it's still a lot though 23k view stream had well over 120,000 concurrent viewers and a lot of other concert events for hollow live and alike dwarf numbers like that concert event right there for niji sanji en but again doesn't mean it's a failure no. but of course i don't think it really did much for any color you look at the stock on april 15th this is a full day after the concert the stock not only didn't move, it actually kind of went down a little bit more. That's not really... It went up a little bit, so you couldn't do this joke anymore, but, but now it says, is it, isn't this like 2312? Isn't that Niji Sanji? Wasn't that the meme for a bit? Was something that because was the stock number is going down to the same as like the name, the numbers, what the meme. Hoped. I think that's a fair thing to raise about this concert in particular, but some people thought it was the greatest concert ever. And that includes I didn't watch like it, so Ducky. I don't know. We've talked about Ducky one or two times on this channel. He is a self-described VTuber journalist who works with Dexerto, who I'm pretty sure holds the record for the number of <laughs> journalism. <laughs> on Twitter, okay, buddy. The articles that they share there because of all the uh, misinformation and corrections that are applied to their tweets. But anyways, uh... fuck. Oh my god, dude. Fucking adverts. I'm not interested, Face Connect. I'm not interested. Get out of here. We're watching drama right now. Watching this concert saying things like, yeah, no wonder this is paywall. The boys are really the way I'm screaming at the choreo. And then, of course, slay, Uki, slay. I just hope you're not a white male saying that. But in all seriousness, this is the tweet that they got a lot of <laughs> crap for. So it says, Niji Sanji Ien should be proud. That was the best performance I have seen in VTubing. The wait was worth it. Now, of course, I agree with this first portion right here. I think Niji Sanji Ian should be proud, even if it was short of their big expectations for it. I think, especially the people involved, they put on a good show. Okay, we can say that. But do we have to say it was the best performance in VTubing? Did anybody else hear that's that? That's a gigantic. There's music tweet. in the background. And of course, Ducky is someone who has been accused of being a niji sanji simp or defender or someone who's trying to prop them up all the time as someone who claims to be an impartial journalist and tweets like this aren't helping and they were getting memed on in the replies good name, that, good name, good the name. best performance i've seen in vtubing the performance with the ceo here honestly Anthony all the ai Kuro memes Kuro sanji banner in the background there from what i've and seen with the photos and the videos voted replies the ai stuff's it's a okay better performance proud, but not best. <laughs> we have standards is the sarcasm or actually serious you're just solidifying the idea that you don't watch anything. I wouldn't say best. Oh, come on mm. now. In VTubing, please. Just say you don't watch other VTubers. Best performance I have seen. Bro, watch a second performance. 
most cringe and false thing you've ever tweeted and the bar was insanely high good job mate and of course some people would make jokes about this referring to how live suisse saying but suisse didn't attend so i'm confused how that's possible and then they'd be hit true with the from ducky and damn anyways, i mean you can block anyone freedom of association well, you don't have to put up with people you don't want to yeah if you don't want to listen to people media, tell you course, facts if you're gonna block them over mild jokes People then you can have then that option, criticize either. or make fun of you for blocking someone over those jokes. It's still your choice, and people can choose to react to you blocking them over a joke. And we see some other posts that ratio the initial one by Ducky saying, Look, bro, I admit AR Live is probably one of any color's proudest achievements, and Niji Sanji Ian should be proud that they finally got the event they deserve. But yeah, it finally happened after a long time, right? Best performance in VTubing is objectively false, in my opinion. We have our own bias, but come on now. Now, of course, I've just own opinion. I have bias. I think everyone yeah. has their own bias when it comes it to is what it is. VTubing agencies. Everyone has their favorite. Everyone has some agencies they dislike True. more than others. But I, you know, people like me are not trying to hide the fact that we have a bias. You know, I'm very critical of Niji Sanji. Some people and prefer Kawaii over Fez. But I can still say you know. they got a W here. But of course, if you're coming out as a journalist trying to be objective, and Ducky is someone who has tried to say that. On YouTube, people talk about VTubing news and drama should be held to journalistic standards. You know, if you're trying to get those standards, you need to show that you're more objective. People like me are not trying to be journalists. We're not trying to be objective in every single scenario. I'm going to be biased in certain times, and that's something that I'm okay with. I talk about VTuber news. I talk about VTuber drama, but I also give my opinion on it. That's like the whole thing going on over here at this channel. I share my opinion. I'm not trying to be a completely objective news source that only reports what's here but if you're going to do that route people are going to criticize you when it seems like you're taking sides and you're playing favor if rev was actual genuine like a news reporting journalist or whatever like like you see on uh, tp standards and etc oh, boy would the would there be a mass amount of misinformation like he would be up niji sanji's asshole that's all i'm saying he he would not be getting so much flack as he does because he would he would be on everybody's side on all the high horses and all the fucking what's the word virtuous signaling favorites and you can see kyo here saying he got laughed at for calling niji's ar live the best vtuber event he's ever seen and went on a blocking spree damn i didn't even say anything this time so i went to go check out this blocking spree if it was true because i know that i interacted with one of wait so he's blocking people ago. even after don't post like interact them? with the tweet it was about this uh niji sister movement here where a lot of people were claiming that the oh, this is so fucking retarded, dude. actually a racial slur. It's not. It's so stupid. Reality, they call themselves Niji sisters. Niji How can it be a slur if they call themselves that? Was one of the supporting it's it. not even a slur, dude. Like, a you, slur. you can't just make up a word and then say it's a slur all of a sudden. You can't find any examples of people using it as a slur on places like Twitter, for example. It's just a term for people saying a uh, very hardcore Niji Sanji defender. However, I pointed out a series of replies here saying streets are telling me that the emote here, the writing emote that he has in his name is actually a slur from Fortune. What? Source for that, guys, trust me. I'm a journalist, too. I, I've changed my mind. I'm a journalist. Just trust what I say. But it's a joke, obviously, and then I got blocked. But uh, I was one of the <laughs> blocking spree. Again, you know, you're free to block anyone you want. I mean, I have yeah. infinite number of people blocking me, and I, I don't really take it personally or anything like that. I just think it's kind of funny. That it was like all welled up and now he's going on a blocking spree over this AR live event and the people clowning on him for it. But again, it's his choice, but I can also choose to find the humor in the whole situation. But anyways, overall, like I said, I think this event was good for Niji Sanji Yen. You know, at the end of the day, I hope they make good content, make good decisions, and their management does the right things. I don't really exactly hope that they implode. They literally can't go wrong with fucking 23k viewers. Probably got a lot of super chats from that. Things like that. And I'll give credit where credit is due, but I'll also be the first one to criticize And then the monetization from YouTube thing. itself, you know, with the watch time. Given it's Niji Sanji, it could happen at any moment. And when they do mess up, they should be held accountable for those things. And uh, yeah, that's really it for today. I know it was kind of a, a lot of rambling, a lot of yapping in today's video, but oh, yeah? there was a lot to talk about with this event and kind of everything surrounding it. So I appreciate you guys listening. As always, feel free to share your thoughts about today's topics in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Well, that's an update, I guess, on the Niji Sanji news side of it, with the drama, maybe, I don't know. 
I think this was mostly focused on. This was mostly just on about like the AR, the the like the, the live event, and one or two people talking about it on Twitter. But other than that, like, I mean, come on, like, bullies, racists, fucking rats, and they've got some crazy psycho people working there. What's going on, man? What's the crack? Why is why is why is nothing going on here? You got you. There was like another guy who was like doing some manipulation going on, leaking stuff, unlawful things, breaking NDA or whatever, and he's just casually there chilling. You know, it is what it is. This is what I've heard, anyways. This is what I've heard from a couple of videos. But yeah, hmm. Should I do another one? Should I should I look further into this kind of stuff? I don't know. There's not really there's not really too much information there for for what it was. But, yeah, they should just be... Niji Sanji should just be happy with what they've got. And people who think it's a huge flop... Like, it, it's not that huge of a flop. It is what it is. The game's the game, guys. The game's the game, okay? Just stop, uh, stop, stop putting your head cannon into everything. Regardless of if you like the company or not. Uh, that's not me sticking up for it. It's just, uh, it's just a fact. <laughs> And this is going from like a small channel, so like obviously, you know, I'd, I'd fucking love to get fucking 23k of views. That'd be nuts. Interesting though, the Lulu people on Twitter though. They must, I'm like, Twitter's just a cesspool of mentally retarded people. They've got like an, they've got a, an illness or something. It is what it is. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this haul in the comment section down below. Like the video if you liked it. If you dislike it, let me know why you disliked it. And subscribe whilst you're at it. <laughs> And I'll see you in the next one.